everybody, welcome to another Stormworks Sea Trails video. This time I'm going to have a look at this very nice cargo vessel uh, called the Amstelborg by Mr. Pro Dills. Um, this is very nicely coloured in the real shipping company Wagonboy. You've got a link here in the, in the uh, workshop page. And as you can see here, general cargo. So uh, it's got cargo hold, it's got um, lashings for containers and two big cranes here so you can actually lift vehicles, other vessels onto it. And you can see their big kind of uh, bulk um, cargo holds. Um, there's a lot of features. I don't know this vessel inside out yet. Um, so I suggest we just go in and have a look. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of uh, scripts and things in here from other creators, so uh, the usual kind of things. Nice to see this kind of GIF here with some of the sea keeping in. As you know, my channel is mostly about kind of testing uh, for fun, the sea keeping of the vessels and stormworks and kind of having a look at them from a naval architect's point of view. So she's big, she takes up uh, the full creative base um, dock. Um, I'm not too sure if this is a, like a one-to-one. -one. It looks like slightly strange proportion here from, uh, I know these vessels, so it doesn't look quite right, but a very realistic build, um, as you can see here. Um, one thing I found, let's just um, go over, is when you do this um, section cut, you can see actually the tank plan down in the bottom there. So these will be double bottom tank some of them will be for ballast some of them will be for oil as you can see here i think it's medium density oil um and that's quite nice to see these numbering that's what you get usually in a drawing um so that's a, a very nice little nod to uh, shipbuilding. um it looks like there's a pretty serious ballast system you can see all these pipes here um and lots of pumps running down into the the, the double bottom there so that must be for trimming her and um, yeah, it looks like pretty, pretty realistic kind of uh, deck layout there with all these um, uh, sort of lashing points for containers and these kind of things. Um, moving aft, um, so again, this is just a little bit of the, the sort of jankiness of the lighting uh, when you've got this um, section cut on. Um, yeah, so very nice bridge, as you'll see, lots of electronic displays there at the front. Um, crew quarters, crew mess, cabins, that kind of thing, the usual things you'd expect. Um, and when you move down, you'll see this engine room is very good. Um, it's a kind of two deck high main engine. Um, it looks very much, you know, like a real one. I think it's, it's been dressed up to look like that. Um, and this kind of two deck um, engine space is pretty common. You've got your emergency or your generators here for your maybe hotel systems and starting. You've got air tanks here. Um, this is very much what I expect to find in this size of vessel. Um, so let's just jump in and have a look. Oh, quickly, um, let's have a look at the, the logic. So you can see there's loads going on, like most of these uh, really good builds in Stormworks. There's loads of IOs, input and outputs, and uh, loads of connections in there. So let's get in and see how she sails. All right, um, so a few things just moving into position. You can see the crane and all sorts of things. I'll just let her settle. Um, yeah, let's do that exterior tour first. Let's maybe start over here. Um, so yeah, aft deck, ropes, um, very nice kind of looking uh, decorative, and a winch here, but with some decoration on it. Uh, flag, Dutch flag. Um, access to the exhaust shaft space that's very nice uh, i do like the exhaust shaft casing uh oh that's pretty cool I'm pretty sure that's rubbish bins um steering gear room hatch let's have a just quick look in here again this is very common you do have this separate space right up the back for the steering gear it's usually just a you know big hydraulic machine that turns the rudder and you need access to that for emergency, so it's pretty nicely modeled here. There you go with light on. Um, some sensors there. Uh, let's come out of here again. We'll go back into the machinery space later. So that is very realistic. Feels very good so far. So up the side deck, we've got our throw-in ring, an electrical cabinet. I'm not too sure why that is here. Okay, so we've got um, charging point, I assume, here 
shore brake and cable that is very nice very realistic as well um, that will go into the accommodation we'll come back to that so down on the main cargo deck uh, okay uh, climbable entrance into the hold oh that looks oh, I feel like I have to go in there because that looks so inviting so it's a couple of ladders we'll just drop down like that um, oh Okay, so this could be to do with ba controlling ballast. Sorry that it's dark in here, there's no lights. Yeah, this is nice. This is a cavernous space. Um, yeah, with controls for these spaces. I'm not too sure why the door is open there. Um, there we go, got some lighting in here. We'll leave that on. Um, electric connector. So yeah, we can put containers in here. These are usually uh, for magnetizing or mag locking containers on um, let's go up again yeah there was the lights um, and it was this nice double climb which I liked then we're out um, so that's pretty good um, you know climbing into tanks like that always feels like a little bit scary uh, when you're on real vessels it's usually a huge height you have to go down here so here's a, a access to a bilge pump I can't see very well from that side we've got Axis if you fall in. Um, got the nice Wagenborg branding there, a nice uh, cap on the bridge. Um, hatch control, oh wow. I don't know if I dare open that. It's nice because it feels very tight on the side here. Let's go. And it, I think that's fairly realistic. There's usually not that much space, especially on these smaller vessels. Um, let's see if we can open this hatch. Wow. Okay. Um, like it. So each separate hatch cover opens up. Um, hatch covers are a pretty major thing on big vessels like this. It's usually companies like McGregor or Cargo Tech, I think it's called now, do these kind of things. It's obviously a major piece of equipment, very specialized, usually gets installed by um, you know, a specialist company. Um, so that's quite nice. They feel quite weighty. The speed, you know, that that's been scripted at is really good. You can see we've got branded Leaper cranes, which is nice as well. And it settles down softly. Really like that hatch control. We've got that for each hatch. And yeah, I'm not too sure how the arrangement is of the crew actually do that down on the deck or if you have control from somewhere else. But this feels very realistic. I really like the tightness and the compactness of these spaces here this is probably what it feels like to a certain extent so down here in front there's the bosun store there should be ropes and equipment kind of a workshop for <coughs> engineering board to fix things uh, so that's a very nice little space in here emergency exit some decorative blocks uh, really like that and then we'll go up to that working deck at the front here the foxhole um, very nice as well let's just go external yeah feels feels like uh, mostly decorative now working winches here for mooring but I love this decoration here something that looks uh, somewhat like those big um, kind of uh, drums that you get to wrap your your working lines around crane the business end of the crane there seems to have three winches that are synchronized um, and then a magnetic lock there for containers uh, let's just jump up on the hatch covers um, I'm not too sure how you access these cranes ah, here we go so the cranes are I'm careful um, hmm. yeah, how do you get up into the cranes that's a good question that's pretty cool that you walk you've got this detailed space underneath here there we go grab handle then you're up into the first part um, let's see yeah I should have read the instructions here um, maybe there's a seat which I can get into no not that I can see but uh, of course I can fly into them in the worst case no ladder on this side. Um, 
I'm assuming that's a, f a fly into that job. Um, of course, if the creative you're looking at this, please just let me know what the concept was. It's very hard to fit everything in and be realistic, you know, to have some stairs here and a door. These are it's a very small space, these cranes here. Um, but I love them. I love the fact that you've got a, t a tunnel like that, which is probably like the real one. Very sort of enclosed space that you're walking through there. Um, right, so that's the exterior tour. Really love this vessel so far. Um, another small crane here is a davit for this uh, lifeboat. And then we'll go around the other side to get into the main accommodation space. So I love this, again, very, very realistic with this overhanging area so you can go out in, in the rain. And yeah, as expected, some uh, crew spaces with some nice interaction here, some lights um, and some electronic displays in here. Give people something to play with. Another space here, this is kind of like the crew mess, a little bar, uh, that's very cute. We've got some nice kind of old fashioned uh, lights in here like that um, access to the engine room oh I'm tempted so let's do the engine room uh, let's do our ship tour first before we take her out so engine room that goes out to the accommodation oh managed to turn the lights off okay that was just an automatic light so let's go down engine room lights now look at that it's gorgeous um, so yeah, these small cargo vessels, um, they have these kind of two decks and there's usually not that much space in here. So um, this would be more full of equipment, uh, pumps and things like that for the various systems. So we do have something here, which seems to be the fuel bunkering system. Um, just a reminder that in Stormworks, you do need to connect together and put in valves and uh, create systems here to get uh, fluids to where you want them to be. Um, and there's something showing you your fuel levels are actually full just now and you can uh, use move them around uh, using a pump uh, for trimming purposes um, and then yeah so we're actually on top of the engine here the engine itself usually does have like a plate like this you can walk around and we've got here some readouts um, and I think most of this is, is purely decorative as far as I can tell I'm not too sure if there's any function of these um, yeah, in fact, I remember there were two prefab engines inside. So let's come around the other side. Aha, I didn't spot this uh, on my walkthrough before. So an engine control room. Ah, that is cool. Look at that thing. <laughs> it's running windows. I thought it was actually loading there. Um, so what we got behind us here, main engine systems on, pretty much everything is on. I'd love to know if that shaft generator works. Uh, lighting. Okay, everything is on. What do we have here? Um, let's put it on automatic. And let's start this generator here. All right, so we've got one generator on and that one will come on as needed. Um, I'm very interested in this kind of energy management on ships to try and recreate some of that in the game just as a sort of teaching resource. Um, so if anybody's interested in working with me on that, let me know. Main engine is off. Uh, let's start the main engine from here. So I can just about here sort of take over. Um, again, I'm on the default um, audio, so it's very quiet, these um, prefab engines. Uh, but that Obviously, in real life, starting a main engine is much more complex. If you want to see a really good example of that, look up the MVP, MVP POST, I think it is, a ship called the POST, P-O-S-T, POST, in English, and uh, you'll see a really good um, starting procedure. I'll, I'll do another video of another one of those. So we've got uh, access down there. What does this say? Emergency escape. Let's leave that for now. Engines are running. Generators are running. We've got heaters there. <laughs> Triggers the fire fire system. That's brilliant. So yeah, this there here, I know from actually what our the demo ship we used to have in Tribon and Aviva has a staircase like this. And the ship is, is funnily enough operated by Wagenborg. It's a Roro, so it's a slightly different kind of ship, but really funny to go down that in this game. Air tanks, yeah, as I said, so usually you've got compressors which will run 
don't think this system is working here this is just for show they'll put a lot of compressed air in these tanks and you'll use that compressed air to start a big uh, slow probably two-stroke engine um, by pushing those cylinders up and down with it with the compressed air it's something to behold if you've never seen that before maintenance hatch that goes back into the emergency escape you do need that by law you need a a way to get out of your engine room that's not through the main door and the main stairways in case of fire um yeah and then we've got these um diesel generators here or auxiliary engines it really just depends how ships are set up you need this by law i think you now need a, another main engine which is firewalled or somewhere completely separate it's probably depending on the type of vessel um so we've got here access to batteries fire suppression system uh, which i'd inadvertently turned on before um a ladder out of here um oh that's nice so this these are oh i didn't know there was heat exchangers that looked like this so yeah um you will find on an engine room lots of heat exchangers to cool oils and things like that of course the main engine being cooled by seawater uh, but usually have a bunch of um heat exchangers for oil for other auxiliary systems so looking good this engine probably one of my favorite engine rooms so far so maintenance space down here you usually have loads of pipes at this level uh, under the engine room uh, that's where 3 3d cad comes in as a very useful tool um, managed to jump out of there and i'll just go back um, up this, the main stair again so our engines are started. That's something you'd probably do from down in the engine room anyway. Um, back out into our accommodation and then we'll go back upstairs. So uh, orientate myself, is this it? Yeah. So beautiful decoration in here. That actually looks like a pixelated version of the real thing. This will go out the back deck again. Uh, we've got stairs which go up. So the creator here has managed to squeeze a lot of things into this creation here. So this will be, yeah, cabins for crew. We won't spend too much time looking at that, uh, but very nice that the creator has put them in. The captain's cabin, oh yeah, it's always the nicest one. So they've got a working bench here with a view out the front. Um, I always find it nuts, you're in here, then you look out the front, you can have so much going on outside the windows and stormworks. And another crew cabin with the clock and then up to the top deck so wheelhouse it's actually a very spacious wheelhouse I really like it um, we've got a few systems here about the ballast by the looks of it um, some kind of status about the holds uh, battery level list angle that's interesting um, so these will be bilge pumps here, and this is yeah fire suppression system. I did actually have that turned on by mistake before. A nice little corner for people to sit. Um, yeah, and then we've got these displays here, which are nicely on a hinge to get that angle. Uh, very nice bridge here. If you stand right up against it, you've got a really good visibility. That feels good to me. Um, yeah, and let's get into the captain's seat. Um, what do we have here? Bridge systems on, instrument systems on. Main engine is running. We did that from down in the engine room. And let's just uh, give her a 25%. And you can see she's moving already. So Stormworks has some very rudimentary physics. Um, it's very hard to get that sense of weight. You know, things like Nautis Home and other simulators are, are, are better at that kind of thing. Um, but considering what's going on in Stormworks, considering this is made by somebody with blocks and you've got lots of logic in it, um, it's absolutely an amazing creation. So we're just rubbing against the side there. Oops. Um, yeah, so we'll just take her out and we'll run her through sea trials. So usually I just put her on full speed Shooting a bit of a wheelie there. Again, this is Stormworks physics. Um, and I can see here, I don't know if this is a water out, or something coming out of that fluid pour. It looks like a water jet. Um, 
and one single main propeller. So I'm not too sure what's going on there with with that particle effect, um, but smoke, as you can see, as you probably know, goes through things. There's not that kind of level of physics in the game. Um, so she's sailing along. Um, I'm just going to slow her down again. Yeah, she does a bit of a wheelie here. Of course, that's not really what happens on a big heavy ship. Uh, but that's kind of what ships do look like when they're, you know, maybe not ballasted down. So they'll have a little bit of uh, bow up and you tr usually try to ballast that out. So I've just got full speed on, full throttle. Um, let's see what we're doing for speed, 20 knots. Uh, yeah, so maximum speed is 20 knots. That's probably okay for a vessel like this. You'd probably cruise at 16, something like that, maybe less. These days, um, we've got a lot of nice instruments in here about drift and wind, our echo sounder. Um, that's nice, a heading tape. That's really nice, I like that. Our clock. And again, I'm not too sure. I'll figure out what this is at some point, that graph. Um, all right, so sea trail, usually, yeah, I do, I do a turn. So she turns nice and slow, quite realistically. That's a good thing. I won't do the full turn, I'll just do that much of a turn so you get an idea. And then we'll stick on some uh, weather, so 50% wind approximately. Uh, following wind, this gives me a chance to do another turn. So I usually just try to see how she handles in a few different conditions. Um, if I've got time, I'll come back and do this in a ballasted state. Uh, as you can see here, the, the bow is up and she will handle differently, I assume, when she's ballasted better, usually. Um, bring around here. No really bad rolling or pitching going on. So a little bit of pitching as we come into the waves here, but there was very little roll, mostly probably because I had the rudder full in. Let's see what kind of rudder. It's hard to tell. It's a single, looks like a single, single rudder. That's nice. So yeah, she handles pretty well in the waves here. Uh, nice realistic motions. Uh, again, it's kind of hard to achieve because of the physics in Stormworks, but this looks pretty good. I'd be happy with that. So again, sorry about no engine noises. That's just because I've got the default uh, engine pack in. That's the way Stoneworks works. I will replace it. It was just that small update that came out yesterday. Um, right, so she's fine in half wind as expected, the big vessel. Put full wind on. We're still doing 20 knots full speed. Um, a little bit of bow. As you can tell, bow immersion. She wouldn't be very desirable. She probably wouldn't hold her course very well with this trim. But all in all, handles great, re feels realistic, you know, punches through the waves here. And okay, a little bit of sort of jumping out is fine like that. She slams down and she reacts. Um, I think that's amazing for considering what kind of game this is as well. Uh, let's bring her beam on, see if there's any kind of untoward rolling. We can do like a quarter like that. Okay, very stable. So I'm assuming she's got some kind of stabilization for roll built in. Uh, she's fairly wide actually. I think wider than you would normally have this length of ship or somehow the proportions seem a little bit off, but that's fine, it's a game. Yeah, so very good behavior like that. Um, I used to do a crash stop. There's almost no point in it. So I'll just go back to zero and minus one. Ah, now I'm getting some nice roll. All right, looks like it. So it was recording backward speed. Aha, so now I'm getting a good level of roll. So I'm wondering if having her under power was stabilizing her. Seems to be. Interesting. 
um, yeah, you get a pretty good feeling for <laughs> the motions uh, on the on a vessel like this. Um, it's one of the. F I'm just gonna give her a little bit of uh, power. It's one of these few games or simulations that I'd say where you know you can move around and you can see here the character tries to stand up straight. Um, so if you're in first person, you do actually get a little bit of a feeling of what it's like to be in a vessel heaving and rolling and, and moving around like this. I hear an alarm now. All right, so I've got fire in the engine room. Oh, that's not good. Maybe stop the main engine. Let's see if that fire suppression system comes out. This may be an uh, early end to the sea trial. I'm just going to have a look. Fire suppression system is on. Uh, I have had this before. I'm assuming that the heaters have come on. Maybe this is what the LOL was about. There's something. Not too sure. Um, yeah, a bit of a problem there, but we're pretty much at the end of the sea trial anyway. Uh, really nice creation. Looks like she can carry a huge amount of cargo. And here we are in very Stormworks fashion. Uh, no main engine. Generators are still on, so we still have power. But we are effectively dead in the water. It's time to get our emergency transponder on. I can't find that, so it should be an obvious place for emergency stuff. Maybe there's no transponder. How do we call for backup? <laughs> um, let's do one last thing. Let's put all the lights on. Uh, okay, so we've got some presets here. We definitely have restricted ability to maneuver. Let's get the nav lights on. And then we will go to nighttime and do the final part of the test, which is basically just to see how she looks at nighttime. So very nice, very powerful lights, as everybody knows, a uh, bit too much bloom. Um, but those deck lights there for only really for when people are working out in the deck, they're super bright usually. Let's see if we can turn off uh, that. Get the deck light on and deck floodlights off. So that'd be your kind of working lights where crew could still move safely around the decks um, but no floodlight on so yeah I'm not too sure why she's on fire I see the alarm has gone off now let's have a look on that side oh no oh, it's simply because I had a headset on uh, if I can reset this reset okay all right uh, hopefully there's some kind of system which is going to drain the liquid out of the machinery space uh, but yeah all in all okay engine is stopped that's why let's start her up again and there we go we're off again so all in all a really good creation um <laughs> i'd like to know a little bit more about that engine fire uh but stormworks you know one of the things about stormworks is just sort of random things happening like that give you something to do that's uh, part of the beauty of the game that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this sea trial and uh, look forward to your comments. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.